See, when you're Grab a spot at the table here. Here's when, a, you're, when you're Julie Stewart uh, Banks, fellas. you need to make a grand entrance. There's no like we come back to set and you're sitting in. there. You said we had a sports, sports analyst sets. from L.A. showing up. I didn't know who it was. Hey, what? I know. Long time ago. I didn't know her name was Binks. By way of Toronto and, uh, and Regina. <laughs> Uh, and Kingston and Niagara. Just a minute. Yeah. Regi- no, no one actually Regina? knows where. Yeah. Working in Regina? Well, I'm not, I'm not from no. there originally, but I Working. spent two years there. Oh, great. Oh, just the mics are really sensitive, so you just gotta, you gotta, no, 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 you gotta, okay. you gotta get right in there. Uh, I, have to, uh, I gotta take a look at your resume, I guess. Obviously, I will closer. send that on to you and anyone else who would like to see it. <laughs> so, what did you make of uh, your Ducks reporter uh, yes. during the regular season? Just uh, how much do you think Ryan Kessler just enjoyed that the other night? Not the result, but that oh, moment. he loved going after McDavid. Is you know, he said he has a book on all these guys and all this, but he thrives with that. And it's not even like he's trying to get under someone's skin. Like that's just who he is. And you know, we know talking to him every single day. That's what he's like with us. So mm-hmm. it's just his personality. But you know, when you get a task that you're excited about. You just, you go full on in. And that's what, even watching him, because I wasn't watching the broadcast, I was just watching the actual game. He was going after him every single shift, and it works. He's and a he, crusty guy he, with the, <laughs> at the best of terms. Well, yeah, well, you have Kessler, and you, then you have Corey Perry. Corey Perry, yeah. You got two of the like, most hated guys in the league. Worm. He, Worm is his worm. nickname, right? Like, <laughs> yes. who, who, who walks around with the nickname Worm but Corey Perry? But remember Kessler come on this show? Yeah. I mean, he got under our skin. He tro- like I'm thinking, you're pissing me off. It's just that's, the, and that's your so then, job. Doug. Then he comes on. He came on a year later, and he was Mr. Personality. I'm thinking, who the hell's this guy? So, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, you like the way he plays. Yeah, well, it's just the, even the way he looks at you. He just has that like cut eye that he's going to go destroy you and 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 your dreams and your nightmares and everything. And that's that's great. That's what you need in these playoffs. You Imagine know, him and Randy Carlisle having a meeting. What would that be like? Well, they would have been together in Manitoba, wouldn't yes, they? Yes, yes, right? yeah. They would have had yeah, but things have, changed, there too. things have changed since Manitoba for both of Yeah, a little bit for how, both. How would they be in a meeting with the crustiness that you're... Well, it wouldn't have changed for Randy. There? Randy's no. the yeah. same. Randy is the same. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the, the m- biggest common m- misconception is everyone says he's changed. And yeah. I wasn't there for the first round, mm-hmm. but I think Randy is the exact same. Do you know, whatever. The, do you know the touch Randy uh, ordeal? <laughs> no. Can you enlighten Darren, me on that? Off there. <laughs> there, Doug, there. I'm going to pull you out of that conversation. We'll Do you have an HR issue Just, right no, now? No, no. <laughs> Randy, Randy doesn't like being touched. So the guys, if you lost the shootout in the end of practice or whatever, yeah, yeah. The, the, the person the that lost, you had to go over and, oh, and actually, okay. and it, couldn't you just be like, go walk, walk by and poke him? You had to like put your arm like around go, him or something. Does, like you know what, though? Grill. All the Randy talk does beg sort of the obvious question, Julie, is what's the difference now? Because you've covered the Ducks under Bruce Boudreaux. And now under Randy Carlisle, the difference is? Um, I think it's just, uh, it's almost like a tighter ship. It's it's serious. It's mm-hmm. uh, a very short window now. It's maybe two years. Even before this season, we weren't sure just how much even Ryan Getzlaff had left in the tank. And then we saw this season, okay, you know, he is still the guy we thought he was. But it just it seems as though everyone's everyone's buttoned up. It's yep. Bruce Boudreaux was the guy that we all liked, and the players liked that him. Guy, and till playoff guys. time. Yeah, and then and you know what? For that game seven last year yep. that they lost against Nashville, you could feel it the the day of yep. the game that, okay, you know, some something's off, and yep. that was Bruce. I think that was just the feeling that he was nervous. The players start to feel it's nervous. With Randy, it's yep. uh, you know, it's it's business. It's yep. we got to go further than we have and, this year. And poor Bruce. I mean, eventually. He just needs that big win, and it's over. I, I just feel from. By the way, I, like I'm on top of things. Oh. So what's there's a big event on <laughs> April 30th. Oh gosh! What a big, big Man, event! You know, you know, you don't need my resume. You already know all about me. I did you not know this guy? <laughs> no, break news. When news breaks, you fix it. Go for Happy it. Happy birthday on the 30th oh, nice. of April. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes. I and mean, you always have to ask women how old they are. Oh yeah, it's always, well, always it's, goes over great. Yes, it's my champagne birthday. So if you know what that means, <laughs> then Darren you would, would know, know the number. Why would I know that? Well, because you're up on all that stuff. I'm turning 30, all right? Okay, nice. I'm turning 30, guys. Oh, oh, my goodness. I am officially a grandma I now. Was, I wasn't going to so say it. I wasn't going to say it. 30 I fit is a in grandma? at this table. Yes, you do. <laughs> uh, the, uh, do, do. What do you think, Randy? He loves matchups, but uh, I'll throw this out to the entire table. He had Kessler on McDavid, and that, and that was fun to watch, but when they, when they were down, they went away from it. 
and they kind of got back in the game, Doug. Yeah. Well, you know what? Matchups are great when you're winning. And, you know, when, when, you, when it goes the other way, and that's you always hope when you know you're, as a coach, you're going in with a, a heavy, hard matchup against you, guys always stray when they start to lose, and they get away from it because frustration mounts on the bench. And, and whether you like, you know, Kessler's great. The Getzloff-Kessler matchup, I picked the Oilers to win this series, but that Kessler gets off matchup is scary for the Oilers. For Definitely me. scary. That's what but Tom if they do, said. But the problem is Kessler, if he doesn't think it's helping his team win, and Getzloff doesn't think it's helping their team win, it becomes an issue. And it became an issue with Bruce Boudreaux there. When you overmatch and you're overmatching with your talented guys, that sounds like Game nerves. Seven against the Chicago Blackhawks. Gets on their nerves. And, you know, you got to be careful when you're matching your best guys. It's, it's not just the forwards, though, too. And Julie and I have talked about this before. It's, you know, we talked about the Nashville defense. I mean, Anaheim has all of them. And here comes Brandon Montour. And here's mm -hmm. Shea Theodore. And great job, Marty Wilford in San Diego, finishing up all these guys. I mean, a lot of this, whether you're Connor McDavid or, or whomever, it's a steady diet of Hampus Lindholm, one of the more underrated defensemen in the NHL, and another underrated guy in Josh Manson. Yes. Dave's son, who yeah. nobody oh, he is ever incredible. talks about. Well, that's because... Look at the depth on D, right? And and Bob Murray looks like a wizard now, not trading anyone and yeah. seeing just how depleted the blue line has been and is likely going to be for game two with Kevin Bieksa and his, Batten you know. Uh, Come on, Scoops. Come on, Scoops. <laughs> all right, let's get all the Scoops out there. I'm done with the Ducks. Let's get them all out. No, uh, I mean, uh, morning skate hasn't happened yet on the sure. West Coast, so I uh, could likely come back, but it looks like we'll probably see Holzer in tonight. Um, Bieksa, I'm hearing, is... Probably not going to be going, as we yeah. said. BX sounds like he's out. Yeah, yeah. But you saw, like, when he hurt himself, he was still flexing it afterwards, and he left, of course. Yeah. So, so, but they've been lucky. They look at how many they got. It, it won't even make it that big of a difference. Talk I don't about think. Edmonton so, here, Doug. If you're Ryan Kessler, though, are you not saying, like, are you kidding me? Ke McDavid's got to shut me down. Mm. Edmonton, I'm telling you, if you're game planning against the Edmonton Oilers, you got your hands full. They're, they're, the, the McDavid game plan, the dry sidle combo game plan is tough to game plan against because you're, you've got to figure out how you're going to shut him down. But you shut him down and the improvement of, because of a dry sidle, you get a Latestu that steps up. You get, there's other elements there. That second line is still, you're always a little nervous because of the talent with Lucic and Eberle there. I, I think it's a tough game plan. And then, then the back end is so much improved. They're bigger. They're stronger. I, this, you know, this is a good team. I